Oh, Warlord plus Lone Druid? That sounds nasty. Rotation from GH and Kuro. Is Miracle going to eat its way through these trees to get the surprise initiation? Pops out, gets the axes on the mid one. They kind of need a bash here to ensure this kill, or maybe they don't. Just the right clicks from the supports will do it. But Miracle is going to be caught underneath this tier one tower. The last tower shot to finish him off with the CM. They do manage to get that counter kills. Maybe with this smoke rotation, we can catch Liquid off guard here thinking that they're safe from further rotation. So they're going to run into GH first. GH has already popped the smoke, sees the rotation now. He's going to be caught immediately. Now, Secret not immediately turning for two. Interestingly, Lifestealer infesting in is going to scout out this lane, see what's happening there. Goes in with an ensnare MP. They're going to be able to press the attack, but here comes the chain. The duel on the mid one. Mid one is dropping faster than mind control. They will manage to pick up that victory and get the shallow grave on a mind control. So MP, he's going to be stuck. It's bursted down. A big hit from GH with the fade bolt. Finishes them off. And now Pylai die. Going to be chased down underneath the tower by this bear. He stops the bear up for a moment with a frostbite, but he's still going to be caught in the end. Three down from secret. Nice turn from liquid. And mid one. We've already said he has to go in big in general in this game, but he has to go in real big right now if he wants to be able to stop this Roshan. He already puts out the Veil, starts going on to Machu, but there's the duel. Mid one in trouble, has no saving grace. Secret, they come in too late. They may just have to give up Roshan now. Kezu picks up the invis, but a counter ward laid down, and they keep on beating into Rosh. Secret. Top lane is being pinged out, and this life Lifesilla may just die here. Oh, no, he's thinking, I've got a little bit of farming time, but... Liquid are too fast. They catch him. They're even going to be able to kill him by the dual time. So we and they need to find some kind of engagement here. Mid one is swooping in behind, smoked up. Still waiting on the life stealer. They pick him up with the smoked up uh, Slardar, and they're going to come in He's from behind. Prepped, they're going to be able to see Kuro, and that's going to be an excellent first pick. But the press of the attack has already removed it. Kuro manages to get the shallow grape off on himself, and now Liquid. Well, maybe Miracle. No, he pops the battle trance, turns and fights MP. MP can't actually fight that one out anymore. Mid one, he's going to be caught inside the entangle, unable to get out. Miracle hit by the frostbite, but again, that's still an Aegis hero. So. They yeah. can't finish him off. They can't get that one pick off that would give them those numbers advantage. So Liquid keep on pushing forward. They take the tier two. Two seconds after that fight ended, we four off. So everyone had plus 16 to 18 armor on the Liquid side through the weave. That was the worst possible time to try to get kills with Slider Lifesteal. The Ember did some good magic damage, but there was no other source of damage. And 17 minutes, Liquid on the high ground. Oh Stun out instantly, double blinked on into Kezu. Mind control gets control, but there is still the miracle damage. They'll get the win. Trading creeps back and forth. The Helma Dominator and the Chen. They get a frostbite onto the Spirit Bear, trying to deal with that sieging hero. They might just be able to kill it and get that 300 gold. Press the attack onto the Spirit Bear. Not going to be enough to save it. Matsu takes a chunk of damage in return, but a nice turnaround. What a crush! GH showing Kezu how it's done. Gets a double crush out. And now Secret, it's just MP and mid one. They have buybacks, but who the hell wants to use it this early on into the game? 18 minutes. Mind control going to be slowed down now. Press the attack. Removed one disabled, but a rope moved the other. But they have to deal with Miracle. He's dealing with the melee Raxes and is still getting out. Another crush out from GH. God, with a huge nuke over the top. Lead to Commander, finished one off, MP drops low, Miracle still has his Aegis, they're putting everything they have to finish him off, but they can't quite do it. He bounces back once again, gets a little bit more chip damage on the range raxes, but Kuro says, we're done guys, a successful push. I think Liquid is just going to keep pressing forward to not give them that breathing room. Alright, here's the setup again, they got to defensively weave, then they go high ground, uh, they're going to start beating on the tower to have that battle trance, and that's going to be the exact time that Secret don't want to fight as you said the build up on weave but what what else do they have like they can't just let miracle beat on uh beat on these buildings with battle trance the whole entire time they're attempting to initiate now as the weave starts going down they're going to my control he still has some more armor plus the solar crest the toss back by kezu and they get the aoe control miracle now they manage to get a duel on mp miracle help my control claim that kill as well as puppy up next the buybacks start flowing in but they haven't managed to kill any of the backline heroes mid one's going for matu but Puppy's already called it. GG. Secret. You just get demolished in game one. Liquid look incredibly strong. Such a good draft execution from Liquid. It is a miracle. This guy pulls out some bizarre heroes, so. Shadow Strike, and here comes the Wiz. The turnaround, the okay. tether. We've seen it before, and that'll be first blood for Miracle instead. First three minutes, yet it's still top CS. Obviously, those heroes were hiding and hoping for a kill, but that is a, a bit worrying. 
Oh, mid secret. one, you could have jumped for it. Nah, he decides against it. He might be able to kill GH, but he very likely died to Miracle as a return, so that's not worth it. They wait for a separation, get a Thunderstrike on a GH. He's so low, but the bottle will keep him alive. Pilot die just sticks around in lane and right clicks Miracle for okay, the extra bottle damage. charges now. Yeah, Miracle's bottling up GH. Puppy's trying to come in from behind, but constant bottles. Miracle doesn't have his searing chains anymore, and he's actually. Oh, sleight of fist! What a dodge from Miracle! Puppy misses the crush that was necessary for them to be able to stop this pursuit. Now Miracle might be able to get it. Chains, high ground, whisk balls. They got him. Puppy oh, dies. Play. Is Matu trying to get a kill here? He's got the Eclipse sitting high yeah. ground. He's going to pop it here. One of the Eclipses does hit the bird, but it doesn't matter. He's got enough to be able to finish off the Dark Seer, who will actually have that Blink Dagger before 15, as it looks like that Glimpse is not going to be effective enough, but maybe the Kinetic Field holding him in. He is over the cliff here, but he's got bugs on him. They are going to have to relocate in. They're going to be able to catch Pylai Die. GH with uh, a level 6 before 10 minutes maybe catches Secret by surprise. This Blink in some ways allows you to be more aggressive, because you can just constantly Blink Searing Chains in and have the remnants to escape. Sticky Napalm, they do have the relocate coming in from GH and Miracle. They throw the first little bit of nuke. Static Storm catches some, but the Kinetic Field's gonna be stopped. Kuro managed to get the Telekinesis and a good crush following that up, but now they actually managed to get a really good Sonic Wave that hits multiple heroes, but it just doesn't seem to be enough for Seeker to fully win the fight. Maybe with a relocate back, though, they can kill Matu. No, he gets a TP away as well. So they trade one for two unless they can get uh, Mind Control. Yeah, he's dead. So that'll be two for two. G8, what, GH, oh. don't make it two for three, or maybe three for oh. three, almost gets Puppy. The balls, it's not good enough. Got the cores around. Puppy with his blink. Miracle yes. stuck Miracle. inside the static storm. That seems to be Mind Control's idea. Take out the opposing team's initiator if possible. MP's got a Lincoln's. If you can get a slider or something, or perhaps a Queen oh, of Pain. Oh, mid one. He gets a little bit too far forward. They try and give him the Lincolns, but it's not going to stop that AoE damage, but a nice vacuum crush. Turn things around. Maybe the relocate out. GH does manage to save Kuro's life there. Matu is going to be chased down by MP, attempting to go for the kill before the time lapse, but it's not good enough. The physical damage isn't there. Kuro can't finish off Puppy. A glimpse backwards again now. GH returns from when he originally started here with Mind Control in tow. They're going to try and chase oh. MP. Will that remain the case? Mid one is being hunted down here. Oh, he doesn't get off the Yule Scepter on himself, so Mind Control can get the lasso first. Pilot Miracle, dies. he's gonna jump for more. Pilot dies, gonna have to send him back with a glimpse. No, he actually just goes for the Static Storm, giving up his life for it, but maybe his team can punish, but the relocate out is there. Now Matu actually pops the Eclipse. Well, there a fishing slide of fist happened to hit him there, and he did not have buyback if he went down. That would have been the initiation gone. But the slow, steady tier three tower going down. Once his tower's gone, the Rax is almost inevitably will fall because of the bouncing glaives and that looks like exactly where we're headed this is looking more and more difficult to engage into mind control tries to counter the initiation from puppy but maybe it's better he didn't miracle needs to help they get a oh, gh relocated out just in time and as you said gods that 10 percent hp ember spirit can still do a lot for them so miracle he may be out he may be low 700 hp right now but he can but still a have a too. large impact yeah, GH is low enough that they can just perhaps share some of that regen. He's also got the urn charges. Puppy oh, gets puppy. caught before he can initiate. He's knocked in by the Searing Chains. Is MP going to be able to catch GH? God, before the time lapse. Oh, Curl! He forced staff to manage to get a cut, but what a vacuum from Kezu. It doesn't save MP, though. MP couldn't get off the ability. They do have the Bouncing Luna Glade that's going to do a lot. Finishing off the two supports. Almost killing Miracle as well. Lincolns for Lincolns. A glimpse back, but nothing there to be able to catch Miracle. Now, here comes Matumba Man, the highest net worth hero. There are a lot of heroes who are close to dying, but Matumba Man never was. Still has that Aegis to work with. Kezu and the rest of Seeker are trying to focus on the back lines, but now they have to deal with Matumba Man. He is manning up, giving up his Aegis to be able to finish this one off, and maybe even kill mid one as well. The Gold Scepter saves his life. He blinks backwards. There goes that Aegis, but Elena Rax by 30. Yeah, if they could kill Macho in the retreat, it'd maybe be in somewhat acceptable position here for them, but even killing Matthew looks very difficult. His BKB is about to come back up. The relocate back in GH. They're going to fight this one out with Matumba Man deep inside with a glimpse back, but now he is stopping Secret from retreating. If they want to get back to base, they have to go through him. And we saw Kezu die because of that one. Puppy being delayed up by Mind Control gets in front of him with the Firefly and will take that kill as well. Uh, you, I mean, you got to understand, Secret, they did what they had to do, right? You said... 
they needed to be able to kill Matumba Man just to be able to make that a somewhat acceptable position. So they went for that aggressive play, but Liquid, they had the recourse. Maybe they could still catch Miracle. Mid one is desperate to try and get any sort of kills here. Maybe with the Static Storm, they can. Miracle locked in. They've got the damage to be able to finish him off. There it is. But a stolen Static Storm actually laid out. Mid one, he can't immediately blink away. Now tries to get out. Yule Scepter onto the Bat Rider, but he is slowed down by the Sticky Napalm. An offensive Yule slows down mid one even more, but they can't get anything off before the blink goes down. And they're going to take that ward. MP will be the one to kill it because he's got that Lincoln. He's got the mobility. Still have to be careful though. Mind control can easily go up the north side. The smoke fails. They are going to go for mid one. They actually managed to pop that Lincoln's and will bring him down inside the eclipse. Ketsu is also quite low. Couldn't get off anything. Now Orchid it up. He doesn't get off the vacuum on top of the wall. MP tries to move forward. The gem is on the ground, but no one from Secret dares to pick it up. Miracle just dives right in, gets to the back line, chains two up, immediately gets a good sleight of fist, and now Matumba Man will make short work of Puppy, the Bouncing Glaze, threatening MP's life as well. He activates the Shrine, but it's over for Secret. Liquid 2-0. Just like that, we said this could be the closer of the two series, but it couldn't be farther from the truth. Liquid very clearly one step above Secret in this series. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah.